What's up guys? How's everybody doing? Welcome to S-Fans Burning Crusade number two. Uh, people loved, absolutely loved the first video. I, I got so many nice comments about it. I, I read a lot of the comments you guys put down in the videos. Uh, and, and, and just the messages people give me in Twitch chat on my Twitch streams. People saying they loved a way to, to be able to keep up with not only the character, right, what I'm doing with my, you know, S-Fan character in WoW throughout the course of Burning Crusade, but also uh, if I want to throw in a little bit of tidbits about me and, and just kind of what's going on with me, people people really, really liked it. Let's do it again. Round two, S-Fan's Burning Crusade number two. We actually made a lot of progress this week. I'm going to talk about that, some of the new items and stuff that we got, some of the uh, goals that we have in place going forward, and what my plans are there. So let's go ahead and get started. Hello. Grand Marshal S fan to the Crusade. First things first that I want to talk about is uh, my gear. So as you can see, my character looks my character looks a little bit different than maybe you remember him as, and that is because I got a few new items. Well, first thing let's let's go let's talk about the uh, the thing that is probably the most noticeable is the Lionheart Champion with the Mongoose Enchant. So I talked about this last week. I said, hey, I I'm thinking about changing from Deep Thunder to the Sword. Uh, simply because the, the Deep Thunder was not proccing very much. And to be honest with you, well, A, I did that. B, I think the change was actually a very, very good change for PvE. The equip increases your chance to resist fear by 5% does not feel very good. But that chance on hit to increase strength by 100 is insane. It procs like crazy. It's, it's so, so unbelievably good like, how, how often that thing actually procs. And uh, I love it. So I think that the Lionheart Champion is going to be a better option. I know mathematically people, people you know, map things out and this and that. I spent all week grinding up uh, primals for this and I had Kerrigan in, in our guild who uh, Kerrigan went through and uh, actually has three alchemy alts that can do primal mites. So just like cranked out the primal mites for me. So primal mites are basically five types of primals. Uh, are earth, air, fire, life, and heart. And basically, you take those five and you get Captain Planet. And when you get Captain Planet, Captain Planet gives you a Primal Might. I'm forgetting what they are. Primal Earth, Wind, Fire, Life, and is it Mana? I think it might be Mana. So that's the five. You take those, I need 12 times one of each of all of those to get the 12 Primal Mites that I need for the, the Lionheart Blade and the Lionheart Champion. It took me a little bit of time to farm that stuff up. Obviously, I have the Engineering Moat Extractor, and uh, I, I was able to get that together. A lot of people are wondering, did you re-level your blacksmithing? How does this work exactly? So what I did was I went and I respect in Winter Spring to change my Hammersmithing to, I, I'm no longer a Master Hammersmith, I'm now a Master Swordsmith. And now that I'm a master swordsmith, I, I paid 100 gold to just swap. I can no longer use Deep Thunder. However, if I do want to swap back to Deep Thunder, I pay 100 gold, and then I'm able to use the Deep Thunder, which is sitting in my bank. So now I have both weapons that I probably will upgrade both of them in the next phase, whenever Nether Vortexes are put in the game, because these are tier two weapons or stage two weapons. The stage three, which is the Lionheart Executioner, and then the Storm Herald for the mace, uh, is gonna come in the next phase, I believe. The next thing that you guys probably notice about my character is that I got the PvP shoulders that I wanted so bad. These PvP shoulders were a big, big piece. Uh, I got the 30 attack power from ZG Island, so I have my ZG enchant on here for 30 attack power. Four strength, six stamina, and four strength, four strength sockets on there, gems in there, so I got a purple gem and an orange gem to get the set bonus of three resilience. So three resilience plus 10 resilience plus the two piece set bonus for 35 resilience. This ended up giving me a lot of resilience. Yeah, this ended up giving me a whole lot of resilience. I went from 101 in my resilience set to 149. Now I could have a little bit more resilience if I want to use these martial, Gauntlets of Martial Perfection, but uh, I don't really like these. I don't really use them that often. I, I use them sometimes, but not having a little bit of reduction to disarm in PVP is pretty brutal. So what I have is uh, I have Fists of the Unrelenting from Saffron. These are pre-patched, special pre-patch gear that drops. I, I end up using this in PvP more often than not. However, if I wanted to, uh, I could get Gauntlets of Martial Perfection as well. I did also work on my reputations quite a bit this week. I got Exalted with Honor Hold and I got Exalted with Lower City. So those of you guys who know about the, you know, the, the different reputations and what they give, you guys know how big of a deal Lower City Exalted is for both tanks and melee. 
And that is because you get this ring right here called the Shapeshifter's Signet. And whenever you pair it with everything else I have in my current PvE set, it gives me a total of 20 expertise because this ring gives me 25 agility, 18 stamina, and 20 expertise rating, which is expertise is a very premium stat. It's hard to come by this early in the game. And I now have 5% chance to not be dodged or parried. Couple that with the fact that I'm basically hit capped. I'm, I'm one hit short of being hit capped. So that would be 6% plus 3% from talent. So I'm, zero, I'm literally 0 0.04 off. I need 95 hit if I have precision. But my top priority is hit because if I can't hit them, I can't do any damage whenever I'm doing uh, whenever I'm doing DPS and PvE. Uh, hit raining first, and then after that, I, in my personal opinion, I'm so sick of getting dodged and parried from behind sometimes, somehow. I think expertise being a new stat in Burning Crusade and it being at such a premium early on, I think it is really, really important to be able to get that. So I have expertise for my ring, expertise for my pants, expertise for my gloves. On top of that, I have the human expertise racial, and it gives me a total of 5% of, of chance to not be dodged, which is really, really, really big time. The next thing I got, I talked about getting Honor Hold excited. Exalted. I'm excited. I'm excited I got Exalted because I got Blade of the Archmage. Uh, and I got Gavel of Unearthed Secrets. I got both of these. So Blade of the Archmage is a faster attack speed spell power weapon. Gavel of Unearthed Secrets is a slower attack speed spell power weapon. Personally, for tanking, I'd like to have a less than 2.0 speed weapon because of how it works with Reckoning. Reckoning lasts for eight seconds, and every time you swing, you get two attacks for up to four charges. So if it's less than two seconds, what well, is, you know, four times 1.8, it's four swings, right? Really, four, four times two is eight, so anything up to 2.0 seconds, you're probably gonna be good. Gavel of Unearthed Secrets, I'm gonna miss one of my procs, right? Because let's say I swing at zero. So I go zero, 2.7, 5.4, and then 5.4 plus another 2.7 puts me at 8.1. So I'm just over, like at best, I'm just over the cutoff to be able to get four hits in or four double hits in. So I don't really like this. Now, somebody, I talked about this on stream and somebody else brought up the argument of, well, what if you get parry hasted? Those of you guys who don't know, if you swing, or sorry, if somebody swings at you and boom, you parry, you end up swinging back at them 40% faster. So technically, I think if I parry once, then I probably will beat that break point and be able to get four hits in. So I got the gavel of honor secrets because I won't always parry, but if I'm doing like a big AOE pack and I'm boosting, I did some boosting runs earlier this week doing Scarlet Monastery. Uh, I need to respec and I need to try and do Stratholme with a proper spec. I think Stratholme boosting is gonna be nuts and gold farm and everything. You can farm a crazy amount of gold doing it if you do it right. Um, if, I, if I get it down, maybe I'll do a video on that. I'll probably do it on stream, do a video on that. I think that'll be cool to watch. I think all that stuff's like, the thing with paladins, paladins doing paladin things is just fun to watch because you pull like a billion mobs and then your health is just like going up while you're and doing return damage. It's crazy. So yeah, I think this is a weapon that I'll probably use there. Whereas for most tanking situations, I would use Blade of the Archmage. And then in a very rare situation, I would still use the Thunder Fury. Unfortunately, we got the nerfed version. This got nerfed later on in Burning Crusade. We are getting the last patch, so we don't have the unnerf the pre-nerf version of Thunder Fury. Thunder Fury, unfortunately, is no longer that good in Burning Crusade. Not terrible, but it's, it's not as good as it used to be. Now, speaking of new gear that I got, uh, I wanna do a quick rundown of my, uh, let's do a quick rundown of my PVE gear so far. The gear that I'm using for PVE, and it starts with the tier four helmet. I got the tier four helmet last week. This is the first piece of raid gear that I've gotten that wasn't like defaulted to me because nobody else needed it. Uh, it's also one of the few pieces of raid gear that I need that's gonna be like in my suit. So uh, I, I was really, really excited about getting this. I worked all week to get that meta, meta gem to work. I don't think I had this last week. I think I got this on Tuesday, the day that I posted my video. And the day that I'm gonna be po posting these videos every week, so keep that in mind. Every Tuesday, I'm gonna post one of these. I have Choker, Vile Intent, same thing. I'm using the PvP shoulders in my PvE set so that I can use them in conjunction with Girdle of Treachery to get the socket bonus for that meta gem. Or that, that uh, you know, two red gems, two yellow gems, two blue gems. Uh, Royal Cloak of Wrath of Kings, I already had that. Crimson Forge Breastplate. So I finally replaced 
my Nax chest piece, plated abomination rib cage. It's crazy. So I, I was running heroic ramparts. I ran heroic ramparts in the morning before reset with Bajira. This dropped and I passed on it for Bajira because Bajira was using something from Dernhold and uh, I've been doing arenas with Bajira all week. I don't know if I talked about our plans to do that in the last video. I think I, I, think I mentioned it in passing. But uh, we've been doing uh, arenas with Bajira and that's been super fun. I passed so he can get some gear. And then I ended up running Heroic Ramparts again later that evening and uh, after the reset. And then I, they ended up dropping again for me. So that was super cool and that I ended up getting these as well. So these will go in my PvP and my PvE set. A lot more stamina. A little bit more hit and crit. I lose some strength. But uh, this allows me to be able to put on things like uh, the expertise ring and uh, I couple that with Violet Signet, which I, I didn't even have my Nax or my Karazhan ring, oddly enough. And I ended up replacing this ring from Nax with this just so I could have the proper hit rating coupled with this to be able to get by with 90. I think I need to hit like 95 because there's still a 0.04 chance that I miss. And if you see me miss this week in, in raid, if I'm playing Rhett, I'm going to be the chances of that happening are so unbelievably small. I'm gonna get so annoyed. Uh, Bracers of Maliciousness. I already had these. Uh, Flesh Handler's Gauntlets, I got these last week. Gorilla Treachery, same thing. Same thing here. Same thing here. So the Shapeshifters, we already talked about all this. Everything else is the same. Uh, except for Librum of Avengement, which I also got in Heroic Blood Furnace with Bajira. So uh, Bajira and I ran Heroic Blood Furnace and uh, we got the best Librem that we can get. This gives you almost two and a half, 2.4% chance to crit for five seconds after I cast Judgment. That's really, really big, 2.4% chance to crit. Really, really big time. My ret gear is starting to look pretty decent. We were doing some heroics and stuff and I was cranking it pretty hard. You guys saw the video of Gruul's last week where I was top damage. Now look, that was cool, that was fun. It's probably not gonna happen again. Okay, I highly doubt that it's gonna happen again. But, uh, you know, we had some people die. I know Dusty died. Dusty usually out, out damages me. It's probably not gonna happen again, but it was really fun. You should check that video out. And it was a good kill. Dude, that kill, I'm telling you, we went in, boom. Hit the guy, big damage, big damage. Oh, S fan second on threat. I'm gonna take hatefuls. What do I do? I get like, I'm like, okay, I'm about to get hit. I hop out, I jump out. Because I think I'm the only melee in there. The hateful ends up going to the tank. So boom, tank almost dies. Turn around, lay on hands, full health, mana pot, hammer of wrath, judgment, kill gruel. It, dude, it was just badass. Go watch the end of that video. Go watch the kill. Oh my gosh, it was it like I was so hyped after that. It was so fun. So even like I, dude, that was so fun for me that I went back and I watched it again myself. Okay, I did it. I was the video and then I watched the video. That's how good it was. So uh, yeah, if you guys haven't seen that, make sure you go watch that. It was, <laughs> it was really, really fun. Uh, a couple more things. Uh, I've, I've been doing a little bit of boosting, doing the AOE farm stuff. And uh, I, I've been doing that because I've been helping a resto shaman level. We have a massive, massive shortage of resto shamans on Fairlina. Okay, we need on Alliance Fairlina, we need shamans. Okay, shamans that want to PVP, shamans that want to do stuff. It's just how it is. It's, I think it might be Alliance on every server, to be real. We've been helping a guy, his name's Jacob, uh, level up Resto Shaman. He's done arenas with Bajira in the past. He messaged me about something. He, he messaged me about something randomly, and I'm, I'm like, do you play Classic? And he's like, no. And I'm like, okay, you should play Classic. And he's like, I don't know, maybe. Right, probably not. And then he, he messaged me a little while later, finds out I'm playing with Bajira. He used to play with Bajira, he's played with Bajira in the past. He's actually the guy who got, whenever Bajira got his first rank one title, he played with Bajira, he was the healer. So we're getting him back together with me and Bajira, with Bajira and myself, and he's never played classic before. He, I think he started playing in Cataclysm. So he's learning how to you know, adapt to the classic arena or whatever, but he's a very, very good retail arena player. And, uh, I think with him learning Resto Shaman, Bajira, and myself, we are gonna have a nasty threes team if we can get the ball rolling. I hope that he can hit level 70 soon. If he can hit level 70 this week, that would be amazing. And then the, the following week, we can start doing some arenas and getting him gear. And then really within the next three or four weeks, we can really get going with some big time arenas, hopefully sooner than later. Now, there, there's a couple other things. If you guys watch my streams regularly, uh, obviously twitch.tv slash SFANTV, everything is SFANTV, Twitch, Twitter, all that stuff. I've been changing up my streams a little bit to do morning streams and to do night streams, like evening streams, and to do 
two streams a day, but they're shorter as opposed to just stream like freaking 18 hours a day or like the 39 hour launch stream I did. I'm trying this out. I'll probably try this out for the rest of the week, see how it goes. And then maybe eventually I'll move back or whatever. I, I don't really know what's gonna happen, but uh, I'm, I'm just trying this out for now to, to kind of see how, how it is. Get a little bit more energy going in the streams and, and uh, not kind of, you know, just, I, I don't really want to stream all day every day because there's, there's a few reasons, right? Uh, one of them is like, I'm just not getting real life stuff done and I'm missing workouts and stuff like that. And I, and I just, I don't want to let like, you know, I'm building a house, right? Uh, you've seen the house videos. There's a lot of stuff going on and I can't really just, I, I need to be careful about just like streaming all day as much as I, as much as I love playing Burning Crusade and everything like that. And maybe this will help me kind of like compartmentalize the content a little bit and get to mix in a little bit more variety and stuff too. A few other things I want to do this week, and let's go ahead and head into the uh, the Hall of Champions. I want to get more gear. I want to get the PvP gear, uh, PvP bracers, because the current PvP bracers I have are not bad. Actually, I forgot about these. I got these from Steam Vaults last night. I have the finest word. I got these from Steam Vaults last night. I'm really, really close to being able to get martial scaled bracers, or even if I want to get the plate bracers, but I think I'm just going to go scaled because the intellect is bad, man. Mana is at a premium. I don't remember having, I remember having mana issues. I don't remember them being as bad as they are now. So uh, I think I'm going to get these bracers here pretty soon. I currently have 13 Warsong Gulch, Marks of Honor, and oh, wow. Okay, I am I could get these. I might get these Tuesday. You might see me with these. I just got to get a group together and maybe get some marks and we'll be set. Uh, I also could go for the Marshall's Lamellar belt because my current belt that I'm using is the Death Forge girdle in my PvP set and I have eight resilience. The stats of this are 22 strength, 37 stamina, eight resilience, 20 crit. If I were to get the scaled belt, I would get 36 strength, 14 more strength, four, more, four less stamina, sorry, 23 more intellect, eight more resilience, and really the reason I would wanna get the belt, maybe I'm, I'm gonna hold out and get the belt, who knows? I might hold out and get the belt. I will either get the belt or the bracers next, I wanna get both of them. I don't know if I wanna get any more of the blue set PVP stuff, if I get it, it'll probably be in passing. But this stuff's all gonna get replaced, whereas these off pieces are not gonna get replaced. These are gonna get, re get replaced by arena gear over the course of the next couple months while I'm doing arenas. These are our current ratings. Uh, the ratings start at zero now. They don't start at 1500 anymore. It has been, uh, we, we joined this team. This isn't our team. We joined this team. Uh, but this is Asmund's team. Asmund made this five. We we're just kind of playing for fun. That was fun. There's a video on that. And then Grayson and I made this uh, Slick Daddy Club. And uh, I'm probably gonna toss this team and, and uh, disband it or whatever, remake or whatever. So we're realistically, I don't expect to really push hard in arenas for about three weeks. I think it'll be three weeks until I'm pushing really hard in arenas. It could be two, but uh, it, it really depends on finding resto shamans to play with. So uh, so yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about the arenas for the next three weeks. I just know that I want to get some arena points to be able to get some gear and uh, that's gonna be really, really, really good. A Couple other goals that I have Very for this good. next week is my reputations. I would like to get the Scenarian Expedition up to Exalted. I would like to get the, what else did I have? Keepers of Time, Keepers of Time, and also the Shatar rep, wherever Shatar is. These are the three I still need at Exalted. Once I have those three ex at Exalted, all the primary uh, reputations for Burning Crusade are going to be exalted for me, and that's something that probably could happen this week. If I get this Shatar rep, which is from the Tempest Keep dungeons, if I can get that to exalted, then I will be able to get a really nice shield that'll hold me over for a long time. Uh, possibly until I get Gruel Shield, that would be really cool if I could get that someday. But the reputations are looking good. Another goal for this week would be to get my Sporgar rep up because this is something I have not worked on and there is a very good shield that drops from Sporgar rep that uh, does return damage. If I'm doing this boosting and stuff like that, then that's that's something that could be really nice. So a couple more things that's gonna happen <clears throat> as, we, as we wrap it up here. I, I've been thinking about making an alt and I've been thinking about changing the way that I do, you know, I'm talking about changing my schedule, even changing the way that I do my streams a little bit. I've been doing a lot of, uh, I'm doing a lot of thinking, I'm kind of back on my old streams and, and kind of the show and, and wanting, to, wanting to put on kind of the old S-Fan character a little bit more. 
Because I, I feel like if the years have, as, as the years have gone by, I've kind of moved away from it a little bit. Like the a little bit of the Paladin Police Force and you know the Rep Prio and all this stuff. And you guys know how I really am. Did I did I talk about this on the last video? I can't remember. But y you guys know how I am, right? But just because you know how I am doesn't mean that uh, you don't. Know, the, the character isn't still there, right? But I just haven't really been doing it as much, right? So I kind of want to bring that back. You know what I mean? I kind of want to bring the Rep Prio, bring the character back. My, my concern is people really like misunderstanding and like not getting it as much. I think it's been long enough that people who have been new to my stream since Classic came out know who I am and, and I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of just want to do it because it's, it's like one of those things that's creatively fulfilling to me because it's, it's fun for me to make people laugh and, and to have people see the show and have a good time. So I think I want to bring that back a little bit and I think the best way to do that, honestly, as much of a headache and, and as, as crazy as this was at Classic Launch, I might want to start raid leading again. And if I want to start raid leading again, I would probably move into either a different raid or I will start my own raid altogether. I, I love the, the people from Raid 3, from you know Vanilla into Burning Crusade, and you know, it's, it's, a, it's a play on the old Raid 3 name from my guild on private servers. If I, if I have to move into a different raid, then... Uh, if I have to, if I want to raid lead again, then I'll probably just have to make a different raid group because Abernathy joined the guild and he was kind of the guy who was like gonna, I, I was gonna, the initial plan was I'll be guild leading and kind of do like, hey, let's explain how this works or like big picture stuff. And then Abernathy would do like the more, he, 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 he would, he would like keep the pace of the raid, raid lead. I just kind of how things went with classic. We were like, okay, well you take the reins of this raid. I, as a leader, right, as a guild leader and as a, and as a raid leader too, but as a guild leader, I can't really go and give somebody a raid leader position like that, leave, come back, and then take that leadership position and be like, okay, well, this is my raid now. It doesn't, it just doesn't work that way, right? The, the, obviously it's, it's not, not only not good for him, but even, even the other players in the guild are like, or in the raid would be like, that's weird. It's just, it's just not good. So if I want to do this, I'm probably going to have to make my own raid, make a new raid group. I don't know when I would have to run it, but it would definitely be more content oriented, stream content oriented. And this is one of those things that I want to make sure that I continue to do a good job of with Burning Crusade is that I, I think of content first as opposed to, hey, I'm playing the game. And that's, that's something that I think I, I struggle with at times because I love this game so much and it's hard. Something that is just on my mind going forward. Uh, something else that might happen this week is I may be going to Los Angeles. Uh, I may be going to Los Angeles with uh, Ms. Kiff this week. So uh, me, Ms., and, and a few people in the Austin crew, there's some stuff going on there that, that they have. And Ms. told me, he's like, you should come with me. And you might be seeing some old s -Fan IRL streams. Not s -Fan IRL videos, but s -Fan IRL streams. I should do s -Fan IRL streams as the s -Fan IRL character. Huh. You know what I should do? Maybe I should do s -Fan IRL videos again. Hmm. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you guys continue to enjoy the S-Fans Burning Crusade series. There's still a lot of information. More, as, I, as I'm saying it, there's more things that I, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying more than I expected to say. I wanted these videos to be short, but they're turning out to be a lot longer than I thought. And, uh, that's fine. You know, some weeks I'm going to talk more about other random things and other weeks I'm going to give more updates on my gear and stuff. And I think that's something that is uh, just going to happen early on. Early on, you're probably going to get a lot of fast updates on this is happening, that's happening. And uh, maybe some, sometimes you'll hear some stories that happen throughout the course of the week. And sometimes you'll hear some things about things that happen to me in real life. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Check out my streams on Twitch, SFANTV, Twitter, SFANTV, YouTube, obviously, Instagram, Discord, Reddit, everything is SFANTV. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will see you guys on stream or next week if you're watching this or maybe tomorrow when the next video gets posted.